To write the formula for chromium-3 oxide, let's first write the element symbol for chromium. So on the periodic table, chromium, that's CR. This 3 here, this is a transition metal, and the 3 tells us the charge here on the chromium. So it's a 3 plus. So that's kind of helpful. The oxide, that's oxygen. We're just going to put an O here. So chromium, that's a metal. It's a transition metal. And then oxygen's a nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound, and the charges on each of the atoms here, they need to add up. So chromium, we know that's 3 plus because it tells us right in the formula here. Oxygen on the periodic tables in group 16, sometimes called 6A, it's always going to be 2 minus. So we need these charges to balance out, to add up to 0, have a net charge of 0. To do that, we can use something called the crisscross method to make it a little easier. We can move the 2 here and the 3 here and get rid of these symbols. And this is the formula for chromium-3 oxide, Cr2O3. But let's check our work. We said chromium, that was 3 plus, and the oxygen, that was 2 minus. 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus, 6 minus. These two numbers, they add up to 0. We have a net charge of 0. So this is the formula for chromium-3 oxide, Cr2O3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.